hello guys welcome to simplified coding and in this video we will see how we can create service in android application so you can see here what is a service a service is an application component that can perform long running operations in the background so if there is some task that does not need user interaction and it is a long running task you can perform it in background and sometimes when we also close the application and if you want that tasks to still run so in that case you can use services so in this video we will see how we can create a service so i will create a new android studio project so click on start a new android studio project and i'm giving name service example and then next and the same thing we do always and click on finish now wait once your project is loaded we can start creating service so our project is loaded and in this example I will show you by playing a uh, music in background so first we will create a media player object So inside on create, let's create a media player. So we will write media player and then object name equals to media player dot create. And this will take the first parameter as the current context, which is this. And then I am taking here the default ringtone. So you can use settings dot system dot default ringtone URI. This will give us the default ringtone. Now let's set it to set looping true. This will keep playing this default ringtone. And then we will start the player. that's it now let's test it and play as you can see the default is playing but if we can close this action let's close the application The media player has also stopped. So this is the problem with a normal activity. So if you want that your media should continue playing in background, then you have to use a service. So for this, just create a new class and this class will extend the service class. So right click on your package new and then java class and then you can put any name i am giving my service now this class will extend the service class now to remove this error press alt enter and then implement methods and you have to implement this method and the, this method basically does that this method binds the service with an activity and if you don't want to bind your service with an activity you can return null so this is returning null and we are not binding the service and we also need to override some more methods so right click here Go to generate and then override methods and then select on start command and on destroy so this is enough and when we start the service the on start command will be called and when the service is stopped this on destroy method will be called 
so in on start command we will play the music so for to make it quick just to make it quick just copy this lines uh, cut and paste it here and remove this return statement Oops. and make this player object global so you can write here private media player Oops. media player player that's it and then here write return start underscore sticky now this means this service will be explicitly started and stopped so we are going to start this service with the activity with our main activity and in on destroy what we will do we will stop the player so we will write player not stop now we will create two buttons in main activity to start and stop the service so come inside activity underscore main dot xml and here we will create two buttons remove this and we can create a linear layout now we need a button start service and give it an id as well button start and same for stop service button stop so we have two buttons now and define orientation for the layout as well now come inside main activity dot java define the button objects start and stop and then we will attach the layouts to these buttons so start equals to button find view by id and attach listeners as well and we will implement the interface on click listener and implement the method as well now if view equal to equals to start that means the click button is start and else if view equal to equal to stop that means the tab button stop now here we will start the service start service and we can pass the intent so call new intent again this and the service class so service class is my service dot class to stop the service we can call stop service method and it will again take the same intent so call stop service and intent now this should work so let's try it oops one thing we just forgot we have to define the service in our manifest file so come to android manifest.xml and inside the application tag define your service so this is the service and the name is my service now that's it we have defined the service inside manifest and now it will work so hit play and let's see what happens
so let's click on start service button as you can see the music is playing now let's close our activity so close this application i close the application and still you can see the music is playing so it is playing in the background even when the application is closed now to stop the music we have to open the application and let's find it I have written start service and restart. So let's click the second button, and the service is stopped. So playing music is also stopped. So this was Android service example. So it was a very basic example of using services in Android. And if you are having any confusions regarding this you can leave out your comments and i will reply you back as soon as possible and please do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like the video and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching